Human beings are inherently social. Yet history brims with examples of figures who discovered profound insights in solitude. Consider Anthony the Great, a desert father who withdrew to Egypt's deserts, seeking spiritual growth in isolation. His journey, like that of many Buddhist monks who embraced solitary living to deepen their meditation, underscores a fundamental truth. Happiness and contentment can blossom from within, independent of external company. This challenges the societal misconception that solitude equates to loneliness or is a refuge for the misunderstood and the outcasts. Solitude, often misunderstood as a mere absence of company, holds within it a powerful catalyst for self-discovery and growth. When we step away from the constant buzz of society, we find ourselves in a space that is both daunting and liberating. It's a realm where the noise of others' opinions and expectations fades, leaving us with our most authentic selves. In this quietude, we encounter our true aspirations, fears, and values, unfiltered by the societal lens. This journey into solitude is not about escapism. Rather, it's an intentional dive into the depths of our being. As we navigate this uncharted territory, we begin to understand the contours of our inner landscape. The quiet allows us to hear the whispers of our deepest desires. And the lack of distraction gives us the clarity to recognize the paths we've been hesitant to explore. It's in these moments of introspection that we often find the courage to confront the truths we've avoided and the dreams we've shelved. Moreover, solitude offers a unique mirror reflecting our most unvarnished self. Without an audience, our actions, thoughts, and choices are purely our own. This introspective process is akin to an artist in front of a blank canvas, free to create without judgment or external influence. The insights gained in this process are often profound, as they stem from a place of honesty and self-reflection. In this sacred space of solitude, we also learn to navigate the complexities of our emotions. Away from the cacophony of societal trauma, we can better process our feelings, understanding their roots and impacts. This emotional clarity is a crucial step towards personal growth, as it equips us with the knowledge to manage our reactions and interactions more wisely in the future. Solitude acts as a reset button for our overstimulated minds, allowing us to distill the essence of our experiences and thoughts. It's a space where we can sift through the clutter of daily life, identifying what truly matters to us. This purification of thought and intention is essential for personal growth, as it clears the path for us to move forward with purpose and conviction. When we retreat into solitude, we step into a world where our thoughts and ideas can roam freely, unencumbered by the opinions and interruptions of others. This is not a mere physical separation from people and their influences, but a mental and emotional sanctuary where our inner voice becomes clearer and more influential. In this space, our mind can wander, explore, and connect dots that it might not even perceive in the cacophony of everyday life. This quietude is particularly conducive to creativity. Without external input, our brain is free to engage in deep thought, allowing subconscious connections to surface and fostering innovative thinking. Creativity often thrives in isolation, where the mind can ponder without fear of judgment or immediate criticism. The solitude acts as a canvas for the imagination, inviting unbridled exploration of ideas and possibilities. Moreover, productivity in solitude is of a different caliber. Free from the usual distractions and social obligations, we can focus more intensely and for longer periods. 
This focused attention is crucial for tackling complex tasks or engaging in deep work where the quality of output significantly benefits from undisturbed concentration. In solitude, our productivity is not measured just by the quantity of work done, but by the depth and quality of our engagement with each task. Solitude also provides a rare opportunity for self-paced learning and development. In the quiet, we can reflect on our experiences, assimilate new information, and acquire new skills at our own rhythm, without the pressure of external expectations. This self-directed growth is often more profound and lasting, as it is driven by personal curiosity and intrinsic motivation. Importantly, embracing solitude for creativity and productivity does not imply a rejection of collaboration or social interaction. Instead, it offers a complementary approach where individual reflection and focus enhance collective efforts. The insights and work produced in solitude can add significant value when brought back into collaborative environments, contributing fresh perspectives and solutions. Solitude isn't just about self-improvement. It's also a pathway to inner peace and compassion. Through practices like meditation, we learn to observe our thoughts and emotions, gaining insights into our inner selves. This self-awareness can lead to better life decisions and a greater understanding of our needs and desires. Moreover, solitude teaches us to enjoy our own company, reducing dependence on others for validation or happiness, for validation or happiness. This self-contentment opens our hearts to a broader spectrum of love and compassion, extending beyond our immediate circle to embrace a wider community.